Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am so excited to finally announce the Joyful Health and Fitness Planner. I wanna walk you through this beautiful planner so that you are set up for success. So let's begin. The first thing you're gonna see is this cute cover page with all your tabs. You're gonna swipe and if you click here, you're gonna be taken to my digital planning video tutorials playlist. And if you click here, it's gonna take you to the sticker video tutorial on how to use your sticker sheets. Then we have this motivational quote, you are stronger than your biggest excuse. So let's begin, let's go to the next page. Here you have your measurements tracker. You can add a picture in these little squares so you can see your progress. I love using my favorite outfit so that way I can see also how my outfit is fitting me throughout the weeks. You can use your bathing suit, you can use whatever you want. On the bottom of each picture frame, you're gonna see measurements and a little line for you to add your own measurements. I also recommend either putting centimeters or inches depending on how you're measuring so that each week you could be measuring consistently. Let's go to the next one. Here you have a weight tracker and a fat percentage tracker. That way you can keep track of your weight and fat percentage if that is something that you would like. The next one is the meal planner and the grocery list. I also made a little checklist checkbox. So you can do this while you're meal planning. I have added breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks. Here you have a variety of different categories for your shopping list. I also added a budget tracker and an actual cost. So that way you can see how much it was to cover all the meals that you planned for that week. Next, we have the cycle tracker. If that is something that you would like to track, I made this tracker so that you can be as freely and creative as you want. You can use this key to either add days you're ovulating, days that you're tracking, your symptoms, or anything you wanna track for your cycle. So now let's begin by using the tabs. This one would be for week one, we swipe, and the first thing you see is our habit tracker and our mood tracker. Our habit tracker has a space for you to write down or add text to each square, depending on your preference. So here on this side, you would write down the action and tasks that you want to create and turn into habits. And then here's just a little tracker within the days. You can write here also the date that you started to track these habits. For the mood tracker, you will use this bottom part as your reference for how you're feeling. You can add little emojis, you can add colors, you can add numbers, it's up to you. It's also numbered here throughout uh, the days of the week, so you can keep track of that. The next page, is the Today Is page, so our daily tracker overall. I have a space here for inspiring quotes of the day. So if there is something that you read and you feel that it will keep you motivated for the rest of the day, go ahead and write it here. If you are tracking your weight and fat percentage, you have a space there for your meals and dessert so you can actually keep track of everything in your nutrition. Here's a little checklist. You can use this as a self-care checklist and you get to pick something, at least one or two things a day from this list, or you can use it as your to-do list. You can really use it however you want. Here's a space for your workouts. If you were to want to add a picture or a screenshot of a YouTube video that you watched and did the workout from, or you just wanna write it out, Here's a space for your steps. And my favorite part is this bottom part. Here you have hyperlinks to 
the trackers that we saw previously. So if you want to track your daily mood, you would just click on mood tracker and it brings you back to the mood tracker for that week. And you can do the same thing with all of them. When doing this, I recommend that you flag the data you're working on. So let's go to meal plan. And let's say we wanna go back to the page we were working on. You will touch right here in these four squares Click favorites and it's right there. It brings you back to the page that you were working on. And you can do that with all of these. On this side, you have a time block schedule planner for you to either use it for your daily tasks or for things regarding your health and fitness. Right here, these three portions, I love it for me, are like my non-negotiables. Having affirmations and being able to see them on a daily basis, I helped you out by starting out the first words. I am, I can, I will, I accept, and I feel. So you can fill it out daily and go back to it or copy paste it throughout your days. Here's you have a space for your morning routine and your evening routine. So this actually is the same page for every single day. What you actually can do is go through each of the weeks. And one thing that you can actually add for each week is you could either duplicate the meal plan and grocery list one next to each other, or you can duplicate it and then move it around like this, you will duplicate it. So you can either have it like this, like week one, week two, and so on, or you can click on the duplicated one and keep it pressed. And then with your other finger, move it around. And let's say this is week two, so I'm gonna put it right in front of week two. So we have week two and then we swipe and then you have meal planner and grocery list. So you could do that. It's very, customizable that's one of the benefits of having a digital planner you can move pages around let's see so let's go back to this one so now we went through all the weeks let's go to the sticker sheets you have these two sticker sheets um, that are pre-cropped for good notes 5 only so what that means is that you don't have to crop, you don't have to pre-crop them or crop them because they're already pre-cropped. <laughs> so you'll grab the lasso tool and you will make a little circle around it and keep it pressed and you can move it around. You can resize them. I have a, a specific video teaching you how to, how to move them around and all that. So you can go to that video after watching this one. So now that you have seen all of this, this is the last page. If you want to connect, you have my Instagram account, you have my YouTube channel account, and as well, if you wanna look at some of the blogs that I've written or more products or services, right here is my shop. I hope you found this video to be very helpful. If you have any questions, please leave it down in the comments below. I hope you have a wonderful health and fitness journey using the Joyful Health and Fitness Planner. Bye.